I think the best part about Josh and I actually getting together at the end of this is that if he's winning, I can just step on his truck. Welcome back to the Skill Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. It's episode two of Monthly Mayhem Challenge Ultra Fusion Edition. And I like saying that, Ultra Fusion. It just sounds so cool. If you've never watched Monthly Mayhem before, I invite you to go check out previous episodes. There is a lot of fun to be had going through the two previous challenges between Josh and I from Harley Designs. And this is going to be the best one yet, I guarantee it. Well, I can't guarantee it, but I know for a fact that this is probably the best one. If you're not familiar with Monthly Mayhem, it is a challenge between Josh and I where we try to take an existing thing and make it do another thing. And in the case of this Monthly Mayhem challenge, we're taking the Proline Pro Fusion SC short course truck and trying to make it into an Ultra 4 truck. And there are a lot of challenges there already, and I'm starting to find some of them as we're getting into the second episode of this challenge, the official week one of the Monthly Mayhem Challenge. In last week's vlog, I saw that Josh was going with a Jordan Pellegrino style Ultra 4 IFS truck, and it makes the most sense for this platform as this is IFS and uh, RFS, FIS instead of IFS. Anyway, I digest. We don't have time for all this. Mine is not accurate at all, but it's going to look very cool. And it's sort of weird for me to even say that. Josh taking the more scale approach? That doesn't sound right at all. Anyway, I am recreating the Dodge Power Wagon race tractor that has been all over the interwebs. And if you haven't seen it, I invite you to go check out some photos of it. Google it, it will be the first thing that comes up. But what it is, is a Dodge Power Wagon Proline body that I've cut up dramatically to make it fit on the Proline SC Fusion chassis. It's already starting to look a lot like the race tractor and uh, that's mostly thanks to a lot of the tube work that I've already started. Uh, I've got a head start on Josh, I do believe, as he had a little vacation. In the time Josh spent to design up that cage, I'm almost done mine. <laughs> without any computers or any computer-aided design or even a ruler, uh, I managed to come up with some of this tube work. Uh, it will be hard mounted to the aluminum plate chassis. Uh, that way it's got uh, some nice mounting points. I will also mount to the rear uh, shock tower so, that's, so it's all kind of buttoned up and tidy. Uh, the front bumper is pretty accurate to the real thing, but man, was it a challenge to put together. I don't have a lot of great uh, brazing tools uh, or brazing skill for that matter. So this was a real challenge for me and I'm really happy with the results. Uh, to finish up that front bumper, I will be brazing up an actual metal front bumper that will hard mount to the actual bumper mount and that should square that away entirely and look quite clean. I'm gonna have to do a really good sanding job on all of the joints. I don't have access to uh, a sandblasting unit or a media blasting kit, so uh, I'm gonna have to sand it by hand and then do some etching primer to kind of clean it up as best I can. Uh, there will be a lot more to come. I'd like to integrate some sliders or some sort of tube work on the side to sort of fill out and complete the look. I have to be careful of where everything goes because I don't want it to interfere with the steering uh, and uh, and the tires or anything like that. All of the wiring, ESC, receiver, all that stuff is all done. Uh, it's, a, it's in, in my opinion, a pretty clean wiring job. I'm not uh, by any stretch the cleanest wire guy in the whole world. I think the Ripper was sort of my best wiring job ever. <laughs> Uh, this is probably second best. Uh, it's a very simple setup. RX4 from Tekken wired directly to the Pro 4 HD 2500KV brushless sensored motor. I direct wired the servo, which is a Holmes SHV 500 V2 servo. What do you think of the wiring job? Did I do a decent job here or could you have done better? Uh, by all means, post your comments below. I love getting your feedback and of course you know I answer every single comment which is really doing a number on my hands. The carpal tunnel is really starting to set in, which is an amazing thing. So please keep those comments rolling in. I really appreciate it. Body wise and interior details, RC Nerds makes a lot of really cool pieces specifically for the Proline Dodge Power Wagon body. Uh, lots of great 3D printed stuff coming from Shapeways. 
I'm gonna do as great a job as I can. There will be a full flat floor. Uh, there will be seats, there will be dashboard, there will be steering wheel. I'm gonna try to get it as accurate to the race tractor as I can, within limits of course, because you know this is gonna be sort of an ultra four uh, and it's gonna go through a series of tests and be quite challenging and uh, maybe do some rollovers. So I don't wanna have a lot of stuff on there that can break off, of course. I can't, I don't know why I didn't think of this the first time, but if you buy anything from ProLine, directproLineRacing.com, you can save 10% using discount code SBG10. And I'll put it right here so you can see it. It's a great way to save a few bucks. So if you need anything from ProLine, like say a Dodge Power Wagon, then you know where to get it and how to save 10%. I will probably end up designing some 3D printed interior fenders so we can't see the inside of the truck at the front there. I think that's sort of key to sort of completing the whole look of the truck. For week one, the official week one, this is actually pretty great progress, I have to say. I feel like I'm way ahead of the game, which is good because I am gonna be quite busy uh, moving into week two and three. So whatever I can get done in advance now uh, is definitely good because uh, things are going to slow down dramatically in the next couple of days. What I really like about it is that it's sort of, it is the race tractor, but it's almost like a caricature of the race tractor. It's not totally accurate. These tires are way too big, but you know what? I dig it. I think it's looking pretty cool. And I cannot wait to get all that RC Nerds Shapeways 3D printed stuff and really start to make this body come alive. Uh, of course, we're going to be doing a pretty cool uh, multi-step job on the paint. So uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. That will be something very fun. I'm looking forward to doing that very much. Also, don't forget, we have tons of merch available in our Teespring store. We've got hats, we've got shirts, we've got other kinds of shirts, we've got stickers, we've got all kinds of things in that store. I invite you to go check it out. There probably is a nice merch bar right down here. So check that out. Yeah, so that's it. This is a really short episode and that's probably a good thing. Um, Cause uh, I gotta get back to work on it. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. So if you could be here around nine, that would be great. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, of course, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to hit that notification bell so you get updates anytime there's a new video from the Scale Builders Guild. I really appreciate all of the comments and feedback and all of the votes of confidence that I got in episode one. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.